Thank you all so much for being here. I know it's Thursday and it's the end of everything and we're all exhausted and everything. So I really appreciate you all being here. Um, and as Trevor said, I'm Elizabeth Lloyd. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I am a full-time wedding photographer. I only do weddings and engagement sessions. Um, that's my passion and it's what I love to do. So um, this is my Instagram. So if you wanna go ahead and follow me and if you have any questions later, I would love to answer them for you. And that's a smoke bomb photo. I'll go over that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so since we're going to be talking about a creative approach, I wanted to start off with my favorite uh, inspirational quote. And of course, that's from Michael Scott, because like, who doesn't love Michael Scott? Um, <laughs> it's technically from Wayne Gretzky, but um, the whole point of this is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So it's totally okay to get weird, try things out, get creative play around and um, it's okay if we fail because you know the more you practice the better you get um, so this is like how I live on a wedding day so this is my style um, a lot of people consider me to be kind of dark and moody a little warm um, but I just want to show you that how you can throw in flash with that style as well um, so I'm going to talk to you about how with just a few lights and with a creative approach, you can change your wedding game. <laughs> and of course I have a gear shot and this is on my iPhone, so I know it's not the best shot, but um, I use all MagMod all the time. Um, I use Godox V860s. I use those all over the place. We have 8200s. Um, I love the MagBox. And um, that's my dog. He's our rescue dog. He ran in the photo. Okay, so why do I love using light and magma modifiers? Um, because it set me apart in my market. Uh, a lot of people had the similar style as I do. So adding in that flash, it really upped my game. Um, I have a style that I'm known for in St. Louis. And I work with tons of wedding planners um, because they know that given any situation, I can go in and rock it out with off-camera flash. Um, so it's something I adore. <laughs> of course. I think it was an 8200. Yeah, with some atmosphere aerosol. And I'll talk about that in a bit. And you can ask me any questions too. Um, so the reason I love MagMod, uh, obviously the people are great and I'm so humbled and grateful to be an ambassador for them. They really truly are the greatest company to work for. Um, I love their dad jokes because I'm a big dad joke person. So <laughs> I get them. Um, and obviously the main reason is because it's so easy, so portable. You can do it in seconds. Um, it just changed my wedding game. I actually had an old flash system that had Velcro on it and it attached to somebody's veil. So kind of like something like this. And I was just like, I have got to find something better. So um, when I saw Magmod, I had to jump on it. Okay, so the easy light setups on the wedding day, since I've been doing this for about five years, I really love to lighten my load. Um, it's all about two lights for me at the most. Um, every once in a while we'll bring in another one if we're getting fancy, but typically since I work with wedding planners, I have like five minutes to get that shot. And I feel like every time I'm out there trying to get that shot, my groom is going this is my favorite song. I want to get back to the dance floor. So um, we've learned to work really fast. And my husband, Patrick's my second photographer, and <laughs> he really helps me out. He's the one that carries the heavy equipment and things like that, so. Um, okay, so since I love a creative approach, I brought all my uh, fun things that I get creative with. So the first thing I love is string lights. So I use these little fairy lights in front of the lens a lot. 
And if you have questions about that, I'd love to show you. Um, it creates a really pretty bokeh. Um, and I just throw it in my bag. If I feel like the shot is lacking creativity or something fun, I pull it out. Um, it's great for night shots and for dancing shots. Yeah, so I just put it right in front of my lens. And depending on how you want it to look and what lens you're using, the bokeh can be really big or it can be tiny. You can wrap it around tightly to get a ton of bokeh um, or just a little, whatever you're vibing. Um, so the second thing I use is my iPhone. So I will literally, yeah, thank you. So I'll make the screen black just like that. And I will literally put it up against my lens and it creates a mirrored image. And that's super cool. My couples love that. It's really awesome when there's like tons of light and you want to showcase the light for couples. Thank you. Um, one of my favorite things is Ring of Fire, um, which is just a little copper pipe from a hardware store. Um, it's super fun. And I have to shout out to Sam Hurd. He's the one that created this. And again, you just put it up against your lens. Um, and you want to do it into light. So when I don't have light, I'll just use off-camera flash, and that's what that is. But I'll talk about this photo later. Another thing I love, which people call the brass knuckles. <laughs> hey, I'm from St. Louis. <laughs> is this little guy, and I just throw him up in front of um, my lens, and it gets super creative. It's cool. Um, and this comes in a pack of three. Where did you get it? Yeah, online. It's called Fractal Filter. Fractal Filters? Yeah. And I'll help you guys with that later. Um, and then I use prisms. Uh, this is kind of like the standard prism everybody uses. And this also is kind of a mirrored uh, effect. Or it throws rainbows in your photos. It's just super cool. And it just changes things up. I love to layer images. Um, so it just offers that for you. And you can use like any crystal, like from any chandelier, you can go into like vintage stores and just find little crystals, glass. Um, it's super fun. Uh, so Atmosphere Aerosol, uh, that's a company that comes in a, it's not a company, it's a company that has air in a can that you spray and it's foggy. Um, and we like to use that a lot. And then one of my favorite things is the Enola Gay smoke bomb. And um, I had one, but it's not here. Uh, so I'm going to use the mag too. And I'll demonstrate that in a moment on how I use that. <laughs> um, so I want to go into how I shot these images for you. So this, of course, is the smoke bomb photo. We had two smoke bombs for the couple. Uh, we used Enola Gay with the wire pool. And I'm gonna walk you through how we did that. So don't be worried about the smoke bomb ruining dresses. It's totally cool as long as you're not like pointing it at the dress, it's been fine. So um, I just tell my couple to hold it like this, pull with the wire ring, keep it away from their face. And I find that when you're just using a little wrist action, that's the best, because if you're going like this, smoke goes all over the place, it gets to your face, um, and you can't see. So just a little wrist action like that. And for this shot, we um, had an 8200 on the mag ring and shoe. Um, and I'm pretty sure we had a mag sphere on that as well. And then mag spheres here. And I think the lights were about nine feet tall, just to get all the dimension at, at a 45 degree angle. So we could get all that in there. Any questions on that? Okay, this is the one I shot myself. Um, Hi, Jersa of SLR Lounge was like, let's do a profile picture. And I'm like, cool. So I went out and um, used a smoke bomb. Again, I just pulled it, kept it to the side. I'm sorry, it's in the wrong hand. <laughs> the microphone, that is the smoke bomb. Um, but I just had a light here at 45 degrees with a mag sphere and um, just set my camera up to shoot it. So um, it had a delay and I ran in front of it. 
I was eating smoke at one point, uh, so that's definitely not fun, but uh, it was worth a shot. Um, I love backlighting uh, hairspray or makeup shots. This is a setting spray shot. For this one, we just had two grids on the um, Gonox 8600 twos. And um, yeah, she was spraying the setting spray and we photographed that. And I always underexpose. I like to see how my light looks before I go in and shoot. So um, this is with the Atmosphere Aerosol. We had a mag box right here with an 8200. Um, the couple was in front front of the Rolls Royce. Uh, and um, the headlights were on, so we sprayed that. Patrick was spraying it. We had the groom spray it. Um, we're really humid in St. Louis, so it tends to hang there for a while, so it's helpful for that. But um, I remember shooting this and having a dark spot on the couple, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I noticed the videographer was standing right here. So be aware of other people stepping in front of the light. We had it high, but it was a weird shadow. And so with this couple, um, it was super muddy and she was pretty finicky because it was before the ceremony. And we were under this like really tiny, uh, not photogenic place. Um, and we had ambient light coming in on this side. So we put um, a backlight on her and um, a mag sphere on the Godox here. And we shot it that way. And with this, it was raining outside, but my couple really loved the venue. That was important to them to get a venue shot. Um, so we kind of went in, went outside. I'm not afraid of the rain, but they were. So I'm like, let's wait for it to stop raining a bit. I grabbed them and we went outside. Um, we have an 8200 on them and the Godox with Max Spheres. And behind, um, I think we also had a Max Sphere. And so for this one, um, it was pretty cool. The venue set up a gazebo with the, uh, candles and such, and we saw that happening, and they were just gonna have a slow dance moment. So we went and set up our lighting um, to surprise them with the shot. So behind them, um, we gridded them, um, and then I think, actually, I think we have a magnosphere, and then in front of them were like 45 degrees with light. And this is the fractal filter I was talking about. So that's the effect that it gives when you're using it in front of your lens. And with this one, I was in a room and the lighting was just kind of uneven. So I brought in um, some off-camera flash there just to make it look more even. And this one is actual BTS. So um, the couple were getting ready in this room. It was trash. Um, so there's just me setting the couple up. Often I just keep it on the mag shoe and the mag ring. We have a couple of grids on there to really na narrow the light and focus it on them. Um, and it became one of their favorite photos. Any questions so far? So for this, I always love the cigar shot at the end of the night. Um, <laughs> the bride really wanted to do it with her bridesmaids and the groom. So again, we had um, we had a backlight with a red gel, um, and then we had two 8200s firing at them with um, mag spheres. Any questions? So this is the image from before with the uh, ring of fire that was in front of the lens. Um, yeah, it just, you have to play around to find the light exactly. And it just really depends on the lens you're using. But like, it's pretty much touching the lens when you're using it. So don't scratch your lens. Yes. So Sometimes it does, it just depends. On this one, it didn't because I was underexposing so much. Right. So ring of fire with a grid on that one. And every once in a while, we like to use the gels. 
this guy um, went to uh, Florida College. So we were trying to use his school colors for the shot. Um, and again, the bride wanted to hop in there. So we have light coming in from here and then the two gel lights with mag spheres. And some other shots that I can talk about. We have light coming in over the couple here. And anytime you're bringing light in, it's so pretty over the top of your couple. And then this one here was in the car with some atmosphere aerosol. Um, this one is a mag box. We are actually setting up family formals right there. So I always use the mag box for family formals. And the light was just so pretty with that ambient light coming in that way that I thought I would play with that a little bit in my lens. And um, obviously the fill lights coming in from the mag box there. Um, I get weird. So that's just the mag box set up for family formals. Those two are the venue owners and they were like hanging out in front of it. And I'm like, hey, let me snap your photo. And that's just a composite of the two of them. So thank you guys. This is a sparkler shot. <laughs>